Look at the color of the oil. I was say, what is it, that color? That's oil. That's supposed to be her hydraulic transmission fluid. Anyway, we have what some people call a coyote. <laughs> it's not a coyote, it's a coyote. Just like the animal. Just like the animal. Only spelled different. Yes. So, so anybody that's called a Kyotos, that's what they're calling Kyotos too. Yeah. They're coyotes. <laughs> For the love of the Lord, it's coyote. Even the Kubota dealerships are called Kyotos. I know. Man, you know, get a life. Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> nice little tractor, all the same. It is. I like. Uh, I like the. Uh, I like these Kyotos. <laughs> now don't start because then you'll then be calling call all the time. Yeah. Anyway, this is in for partially full service. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't need an air filter. They got something doctored up here, so they ran into trouble with the fuel bowl. So they got a new fuel bowl. So they got a regular filter put here for the fuel. So I'm going to try to put that back to the way it is or the way it's supposed to be. It's got an issue in high range. It's only got two ranges, like the BX has got a high and a low. In low range, it pulls really good. In high range, we can't make it back up over the hill here hardly. So I'm changing the fluids and I'm changing the HST filter, but you might want to come over here. Uh, under each axle, right here, there's a little drain. It's a 14 millimeter drain. It's under, it, it's, I'll try to get a picture and insert it here. Okay, then I'm going to, there's a, a drain hole here, a drain hole here. Under the uh, mid PTO, there's another little drain screw. It's 14 millimeter. You take that out. And then there's this big sucker right up in the middle. And he got to come out. These two things here, they're magnets. So that's what, uh, they're there to catch anything. But what I got to show you is not what I want to show you. If you look at the end of that magnet. Is that what you were gasping me about? Yeah, earlier? that's a snap ring. Oh, that's part of a piece? snap ring. No. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you something. Like, I would rather see your mother come to visit. Than see that? Than see that. Okay, and good. That, that look. Other than a natural disaster, there's nothing worse. Well, you're not painting a very good picture. Oh, is it grooved to, to scratch legs? Got to work? On, eh? on the duplicate. This here? Yes. These are, these are magnets. They're, they're magnets piled together. Yeah. yeah it looks like something was scratching it, but that's the way it is. No, no, that's the way it is. Yeah, that's okay. the way it is. So, I don't know. You know, if this don't work out after, it, it, it's going to be an internal problem. And I highly doubt he's going to want to strip this down. And I highly doubt I want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, I never say never because I've been wrapped, uh, been tied up with jobs like this before in the past. But anyway, I'm going to show the customer this. Yeah, so basically, that's it. There's, there's a hydraulic filter, well, in this cab. Come over here. I'm not going to be showing the full service on this because, to be honest with you, it's not really a good full service that I'm doing. This is a Sims cab that's been added to it. There's a filter here, and there's another filter under there. So it's got a HST and a hydraulic filter. So we'll be putting them on as well. Uh, that's an air filter there. So there's bits and pieces all over the place. The strap is off here, so I'm probably going to make up something for a strap. But in the meantime, like I. I even though like it's it's not our tractor, I kind of felt terrible when I saw that oh, snap ring. That don't sound good. No, so that's uh, that's downright terrible. Uh, I, I'm not really feeling the love with that. And of course now, when it's dying down in high range, and you find that, you know, you don't have to be much much of a mathematician to add two and two. No. So you know, I suspect. That's so going to be, trouble is. yeah, and you know, thank God that the magnet was there to give me some kind of a clue what's going on. So, it's a Coyote CK20, it's a HST model, 
it's got almost 500 hours on it. So I don't know anything about its service life. I don't know if it's been through hell and back. So it don't look like it's beat up. I mean, no. you know, it's done a bit of scrape and you can tell by the cutting edge. But yeah. other than the fact it's faded out, it's, uh, yeah. it's not too bad a shape. The tires look good. And, it runs really well, a beautiful little engine in it, so I don't know. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to put the filters and stuff in. I don't, shouldn't need to show you that because it's a matter of unscrewing one filter yeah. and putting the others on. One of those days when I get a newer tractor and a Coyote, I certainly wouldn't mind going through a full service. But right now it, I got too many repairs to do on it and it's going to take up a lot of my time. So. To the guys who got coyotes, I apologize for that. There's certain things that I can't do during the day because I need to make time on the job, and taping takes a lot of time. So uh, I'm going to get that done, then we'll go back, and maybe I'll be able to show you something else later on. on it. Oh, good God. What's wrong now? You want to set arms on you like Popeye to get the filter off of this? Look at the length of it. Yeah. Thought I had one like that too, that long. Huh? Is the Kubota filter that Oh, long yes, too? yeah. Yeah, it is. But man, I'm going to tell you something, folks. Anybody who's thinking about doing service work on their own tractors, this here is the way to go. It's 3 8 drive on this side and half, half inch on that side. This is quite old, this one. I used to use this when I was working on Caterpillars, the diesel ones, mm. not the flying ones. Mm. But anyway, yeah, so it's a, that's a really good strap. That's just, yeah. Okay, it wraps around so you can get yeah, down. Yeah, you've beat me with that strap a good many times. <laughs> but you always use it like this. <laughs> you say it hurts more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, not, that's, the, that's the right way to do it, is right here, like that. Because you imagine now the amount of pressure it took, huh? Oh, yeah. To get that down. Wow. So that filter, folks, that goes here, right up here, on this side. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the filter with oil. And I'm going to screw it back up in place and tighten it down. I won't be using this to tighten it down. I'll be tightening it probably a grunt and a half, a little bit better than a hand tight. Because if you use these to tighten them up, you've got a tendency to dent them. And I'd rather you didn't dent them. So that's my little speech on oil filters. Okay. Okay. Do you know what meetings? What? Meetings filter has never been replaced. Never replaced? Never replaced, no. I really don't think that filter has been replaced. I mean, even up and under it, man. Yeah, you would faded look, too. look at the color of it. Yeah, that's right. All right. Why should it be that color from underneath? Because that's the exact same color as the frame. So which thinks, which me thinks. Now I know you know Sherlock Holmes, and I don't own a hat like him. <laughs> but at the same time, that's the same exact same color as that frame. This is darker. So, I don't oh, know. I'm okay. sure if I'm wrong, somebody will point it out. Okay, so but it looks like it could be original. I think what happens is this is, this is put on. Yeah. And of course, when it's, a, when it's being painted at the assembly plant, it's all painted together. Oh. And then they assemble it together, and oh. that's what you get. So, I think that's never been replaced. That's what me thinks. Wow, that's bad. That's not good. Cool. Never get the feeling you're being watched. Yeah, that's because you were. Yeah. Not only me watching you. Just look behind me. <laughs> See all the people? It's the world. It is. Why do I do these videos knowing that I could possibly, well, of course, I'm not knowing I make a possible fool out of myself. I do make a fool of myself just by being on video. <laughs> you do not. I do. You don't. People are laughing, saying, he don't know. As they say here in Newfoundland, he don't know his arse from the hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's Newfoundland that's Newfoundland saying it. Yep, that's yeah. Newfoundland saying. Anyway, this is what Coyote sends out for oil. That's it. For hydraulic oil and transmission fluid, so. I don't know. Je ne sais pas. No. So we're going to preload the filter, like I always try to tell people to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to put it back up in place and tighten her down. Now, don't you trip up over it and break that camera. <laughs> Medicare don't cover the camera. 
They'll cover like broken limbs and stuff. Well, you got booby traps everywhere. Well, you know, it's a garage. Uh, and I'm trying to get where you're going. Well, is that right? You, you know, you're in my way. The tractor's over there. What are you going over there for? Because I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to tighten this thing up with. Because I got a big filter wrench goes on that. But anyway, I'll find it after and screw it up there. Hey, you found your special tool. I found it. There it is there. Oh, that's it. That's it. Zit. Like a zit. A zit. It's look like a cap or something. Well, it's it is what I told you it is. Don't go thinking of my idea. I'm not thinking that at all. You're thinking it. I was. I can tell what you're thinking. No, you can't tell. Yeah, I can no, tell. You have no idea. Many of you, thirty odd years, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can and see. And it wasn't good. No. No. See that? Yeah, I see that. Tell truth, no? Mhm. Mm see? Yep. How many grunts is that? Grunt and a half. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Jump or something. I got to sell them the filter wrench. Yeah, you might leave that on there. Sorry, not the blood filter wrench. <laughs> you're probably disappointed because he's probably hoping for that. Yes, yeah. That's all he wants now is that filter wrench. Yeah. Now I got to go inside. Mm hmm. Let me go on the inside. Filter? Oh my gosh. What's wrong now? I'm dizzy. I'm getting up and down here like a jack in the box. <laughs> remember when our little fella, Dennis, fellow was playing the guitar? I remember when he's a little boy, he used to have the jack in the box, you wind up. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and I'd be going, diddly 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 diddly, and he'd be going. <laughs> and then just before, just before he'd pop, I'd stop. Yeah. And he'd look at me. Then I'd go in my dirt and pop and he'd scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm cruel as a father. I know, you are. You're evil. I'm cruel. Evil. Evil. Yep. Evil. <laughs> yeah, so. Same thing, isn't it? Well, we used to have some of them. Oh, yeah. And you can see him. Be one and one, he'd go, like anticipating it, right? <laughs> and then I'd stop. And then he'd look. Then I'd go crank it. <laughs> he'd pop crank up. it again. And he'd jump. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Little things that amuse me. Oh, yeah. So you know I'm not well. Oh well. Oh well. Makes it harder right, when you got a cab on. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, we should get that out of my face. Stop you know, it's, it's like working around paparazzi. I oh, know, same thing. Same thing. And, and you know what? You know, it's like I get the impression you don't care. <laughs> I'm evil too, you know. Yeah, well, you've got that right. My son, nobody knows. You might come off as being all right, pristine, and proper and all that. My God, if people only knew what I had to live with. My son, I'm telling you, I, I, I'd be getting rewards. <laughs> I gotta go now. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're starting to talk a bit too much about uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back. Man, this is just chock right full of surprises, this thing. What's wrong now? Because it got an aftermarket filter on. Folks, I, you know, like, an aftermarket? No, yeah, I kind of don't understand this, right? Like, fellows will say, is there a substitute for an oil filter for a Kubota? Is there a substitute for an oil filter for a Coyote? Mm -hmm. You spend, you invest that much money into the machine. Yeah. And you, you're hoping and praying that it's going to give you a, you know, a reasonably long service life. No and you trouble. cheapen out and put an aftermarket filter on it. Seriously. It's beyond me. Yeah. You know. And I mean, look, face it, you really should be buying your, your filters and stuff from your, from your dealer. I mean, you, you, you're supporting your local dealers, if nothing else. And plus, you know, you're getting a filter that's designed for that machine you're putting it in. Exactly. I mean, it's like lots of guys say to me, Paul, what filters do you use on your Goldwing? Well, hello, yeah. I'll use a Goldwing filter. Yeah. Why chance it? Because it might be $10 more. But man, when I'm going up the road and I got the tunes on and life is pretty good and wife is left behind and you know, I'm <laughs> saying now, I'm back so up, back up. I'm saying I'm so glad that I got that original filter on. Yeah. How are you now? I am. I am <laughs> I'm careful all cut what, up. Careful Look. what you wish for. What the fuck is wrong now? Because it's not a rash or anything I got. That's called working for a living. Yeah, well, you're looking at me like I don't do that. Well, I mean, you know, I don't see you cut up. I don't need to 
be. I'm working smart. <laughs> yeah, you've got that right. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a total idiot. <laughs> I have people for that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you certainly do. So anyway, it's it is what it is. I'm yeah. going to uh, put this on. But anyway, folks, I just want. Oh yes, and by the way, they're a difference in size. Mm hmm. So, you know, like, I don't know, beyond me why people would even, well, people would even use it, you know? You can't yeah, even stand the bloody chance. thing up. Yeah. Because like it's a drunk filter, one can't stand up on its own. Don't make a mess, because I'm not cleaning well, it Well, I got out. a mess made now. Well, then I'm not cleaning it. Well, you're not going to get it now, because you're going to hold on that camera till I gets, at least gets this cleaned up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cleaned up yet? Yeah, it's cleaned up. Yeah, but it's brutal, eh? Yeah, like I said, you wouldn't risk it. I don't understand it. I just don't know why people cheapen out on filters. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you put the... Now, I mean, when it comes to automotive filters, I, I, I suppose I'm a bit of a hippie twist. Are you? Because when it comes to automotive filters, I don't mind using an aftermarket. Mm. But I, at the same time, though, for our van and for our Mustang, we keep a standard General. filter. But when, when, when we had the fungus, the Ford fungus, we, we used to put aftermarket filters on mm -hmm. because it was only a fungus. A focus. A, I, I can see by the look on your face. It's a focus. Yeah. Speaking of focus, you focus. I'm focusing, but yeah. I can't get. I can't get over to the tractor because you're in the way. I'm not in the way. You are. I'm not. You're like those speed. You're like speed bumps that completely keeps moving around the shop. Yeah, we got a lot of those lately. Yes, we do. That's the latest thing in the world here: speed bumps. Yeah, yeah. It's fashionable. It's in this year. Yeah. Amazing, eh? Yep. Very. So anyway, you got that still turned on, come over and show them where this goes. Alrighty. Well, I can't see. You got your big head in there. Well, you know, like the big head got to get there. Oh, yeah, over there. See? Yep. Screws in there. Then I got to go get that fancy filter wrench again. Okay. And put it on there and tighten it in. Alrighty. And then that's going to take, oh my gosh, they sent out some oil. It's going to take about eight. No, what? Let me tell you now, that's going to take four, that's going to take at least five gallons mm. of uh, oil. Yeah. Isn't it? Yep. I just spun around in, in a circle. I bet I made I, everyone do it. There's fellas falling out of their chair now. <laughs> Sorry. Should I do a video on the road and should take a go up this twisty road in North River? And one guy said he was looking at the big screen monitor sitting in his chair. And he said he got so involved he fell right out of the chair. <laughs> That's right, I can see that happen. Yeah. But anyway, it's not my fault because you wouldn't stay still. Well, I gotta work. You were going around in circles, so force me to go around. Just going around and around and around. Yeah, round and round. All right, let's go. Cool. What are you doing over there? The filter's on this side, isn't it? I'm trying to figure out how to get in through the door, but that door don't come off. No? So I'm gonna go in and fill that reach across and fill that. So if you want to get in or out, you got to go all the way around to one side. Yeah, right. see, there's where the... Here, look, can you get your snout in around there? Snout can go in there. Well, in it there. goes down. Look, oh. do you see, see where the oil goes? Can you see it? I don't know if I can see it. There's a hole there, look. Well, I'm hoping everyone can see it because I can't Jump see it. Jumping, man. Sure, you can't even get in there. I can't I touch can't it because I'm full of oil. There. My gosh, for, for the money you're getting paid as a videographer, you're not doing that great. <laughs> Here, well, look. I got nothing to work with here. Look, look, right there. Oh. Can you see that now? Yes, For yes. the love of God. Yes, I can see it okay, now. Okay, cool. Well, I'm well you weren't doing a very well, good I'm job Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. They're all, it's not going to be me they're going to be talking about. They're going to say, man, she's not much of a photographer. Well, they're not going to say that because... No, because they're going to stick up for you. I'm that's sure. right. But anyway, so that's where I got to dump at least... At least four guys. It's kind of hard because it's not up because that could spill. It needs one of them silly little no, funnels or something. Funnels. Speaking of funnels, I don't know if you've ever shown them. No. Funnels. Yeah, we got a silly little funnel. I've got a silly little funnel there somewhere about behind it. This one. That dude. Yes, I'm folks, a, that's a funnel. That is the neatest thing since lace bread. Form a funnel, it's called. Yep. And I'm going to tell you something that gets you out of some jams. Must be lead or something inside of it, but I've had this one for maybe four or five years. Oh, it was so good. You bought that one in a spear. There's a spear one over there that I never ever took off the wall. No. 
I said, I'll keep him for a spare, and I've never used him yet. I've had that's that other one a few years. That's what he looks like. I'll clean, even clean the dust out of him for you. Really? Everybody says they like looking at tools, see? No yeah, mess oil good. changes. Perfect. That's a nice outfit. You got that right. They work really, really well. So, yeah, but that's not what I'm going to use here. It's going to be used, I'm going to use a regular funnel. But, you know, if you're, if you're taking an oil pan down or oil drain plug down and there's a lot of obstructions in the way, you can just stick this up and under and have it go out into your, your barrel, right? Oh, yeah. It's so it's a little, little tech tip there for yeah. specialty repairs, custom mods. <laughs> Sweet. Super cool. Super cool. What are you at? <laughs> Checking you out here through the glass. Well, that's where it's got to go, huh? That's where it got to go. And you better be careful. You get that stuff because you can grab the motor on for it instead of the... Because the two cans, two jumps look almost identical. Oh, man, I saw that. They're all the same name, brand, and everything. Yeah. Same color. Yeah. Yeah, you got, what do you say, you got five of those to put in? Yeah, I think so far. Yeah, I think so. I'll know when it runs out. Yeah, we'll wait till he runs out. One, two, three. Four and a half gallons so far. Oh, there's the dipstick. Uh -huh. This hasn't been started yet, but the dipstick for this is here. It's much different than Kubota. Yeah, so it's it's just a little tiny bit above the full mark, mm -hmm. which is okay because the filters are going to have to going to have to uh, pick up some of it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll just go ahead and I'll start it up when I move the buckets and stuff in under it. Don't want to run over a bucket of oil. No, we don't want that. That's not going to that's not going to go over if we do that. This would be a very very censored video if that happens. Oh, you got that right. right? Yeah. And not all of it coming from me. No, you got that right. <laughs> yeah. No, not all of it coming from you. Man, oh man, it takes some oil. Brutal. Ooh, yeah. You gotta go dump this and that five gallon jug is three parts.
You'd like to be able to fix the problem, but it's that's a monumental like... problem. Yeah. That's not just taking out and tweaking something. That's <laughs> stripped mm -hmm. down, right? Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, so. Oh, well, we'll have to move on to the oils next. What you looking at? I'm trying to figure out where this goes. What is that? This is do flicking. Do flicking? It goes down here. It goes down and under here. So, so I got all kinds of stuffs on oh, that door. Come over on this side. That door had the strap missing off it. There was bolts missing off it. So what I did is I made up a little do flick it here. Go in here. I put some of those nylon lock nuts on. Put the bolts through, and so now at least the door won't take off on them, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a symbol that it beat itself. Through, you know. So yeah, what I gotta do here now is try to figure out what all this is about. Mm -hmm. This is all kinds of stuffs. Do flicky. Well, I think this all. Macro. Get all that go. Well, you're getting paid the big bucks, so you gotta tell me. Hmm. I just ordered the parts. So I don't have to worry about where they go. No. <laughs> wow, eh? Mm-hmm. I try to save them little Ziploc bags, but I don't really have a lot of luck with them. No. That yeah. would be the gasoline filter, it looks like, maybe? And, well, it's a diesel filter. Mm. Well, I figured it'd be a spring or something down in that to keep that pushed up. No spring? Kind of like a lock ring type of thing? Where'd that rubber thing, what did he do? That's just a seal to make sure that the fuel bypasses. I gotta go get myself a tool for this. Yeah. Man, have we ever had rain today? Holy smokes. A lot of water. Ken in New Zealand says it's sa uh, soggy. Soggy? So the other day, he's after posting like four or five times, he says, still soggy here. So then I, I post it and I says, I hope you dry up. <laughs> okay, I wonder did he dry that up. Didn't, that didn't come out that great, did it? No. Yeah. Nothing like telling your buddy in New Zealand, dry up. Dry up. Yeah. So Ken, I hope you enjoyed that one because I'll tell you, I certainly uh, laughed when I typed it out. Yeah, I found it quite amusing. It was a good yeah, thing, when Ken. Yeah, you reread what you wrote. Ken was around here now, I'd probably get a smack in the mouth for that. <laughs> yeah, so, so he puts the other O-ring in there, and then, and there, well, maybe I'll put this O-ring up here first, oof, hmm. oof, maybe not, huh? well you don't want to go up there. Hmm. I got a little weapon for this. I got to get right there. Silicone release agent. Oh. I put this on wiring and stuff and fellas goes nuts. You're not supposed to use it on wiring. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. I've only been using it like for 35 years and it's a funny thing. I use it on plugs for wiring and I never, ever, ever had one plug corrode. And I never had a lighting issue. No. But Everybody, well, not everybody, but some fellas on YouTube, uh, you don't know what you're talking about and that. Yeah. That could be true, but I'm still using it. Well, that's right, you only can speak as you've been finding it. You're not going to hurt my feeling, because I only got the one anyway. Mm -hmm. See how easy that went up? Yeah. So now, a little tiny, weeny, eensy, beensy piece, just to go along that O-ring. Hmm. Then... That in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, it don't need a spring because it's, yeah. it's bottomed out. Good. Me think is thou anyway. I don't know if that's right down there. You know how it is. You, you're just not sure, eh? Yeah, that's right. You're not feeling it. You're not feeling it. Yeah. I'm going to take out that O-ring and want to see if that's going to go down in that thread further. And it do, look. Yeah. But then again, the O-ring is a certain thickness too, for God's sake. Uh, we have company. Yeah, 
Transmission uh, face paint, rusted out, pile of stuff. So, anyway, he bought it inspected. He bought it inspected. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, we had a little powwow with him. And so, now he's gone back to where he bought it. And he just called and said they're going to look after it all. Mm -hmm. So, even there's a lesson here. Even if somebody says they inspect it, it's always nice to get a second opinion of it. Okay? Yeah. Anyway. That's great. So, so are you so happy with that? Huh? You're happy with I'm that? I'm happy huh? with that, yeah. That's good. Well, I don't know if I'm ever happy, but I'm happy. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Make a play? <laughs> hey, man. <Yeah. laughs> Those vape machines are all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's well, true. I almost, beat, I almost beat the window out of a car into a Swiss chalet the other day. Remember we walked up to it, we saw the smoke coming out of the car, and said, Candy, that car's on fire. Hmm? I get ready to beat the window up, but his buddy rolled down the window and got out and he had this big old thing. You know, what do you call those big pipes now? Big vape machines. Oh, yeah. It stinks. It has a sickly sweet smell yeah, to it. Yeah, or some smoke. How, they say it's better than smoking. How can really? it be? You're still inhaling. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of smoke. From a smoker, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I wasn't impressed. No. But yeah, it produces a lot of smoke. You got that right. And you go into those vape shops in town and... You need a knife to cut a hole through the smoke to get to the cash. You it's see, it's crazy. People, yeah, you see people driving like that too. How do they even see anything? It's true too. I like Cheech and Chong movie. Yeah, when they yeah run that's up on the right. You got a Pepsi on my counter, and I'm a milk collector. <laughs> oh, yeah. Contaminated. Now, now, now I got to cut that section of the cabin today. <laughs> I'm trying to bring some class. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I like that one. That's a good comeback. Okay. So, uh, product placement. Maybe I'll get some free diet Yeah, there you go. I'll tell you what, by the looks of the growth under your chin, you don't know what environment's going to crawl in under the door. And maybe we'll get some free diet Pepsi. Yeah. He's right. You're never going to shave that off. Yeah. Sure well, you see, I got met to my madness. I have to take the hair clippers because those cheap razors I bought online are a yeah. good deal. It pulls the face. Oh, oh, oh. And it's almost plucking the hair out. So really? once it gets long enough, like now, I can take a hair clipper, get it really short, yeah. then take the razor. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you, you, you know, you or I can shave every day and not have to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. You should have saw what Marty said. What Marty got? Marty got a call from his buddy. What was that? This morning. His buddy, his buddy said to him, he said, I need you to make me up a, uh, what do you call it? Oh, you a box. A shipping box? A yeah. shipping box. Yeah, you ship. So anyway, I said, so are you going to do it? He said, no, it's a weird size. Mm -hmm. I said, what size is it? He said, one inch by 50 feet. Yeah. Now, can you imagine? <laughs> what? One inch by 50 feet, he wanted the shipping box made. One inch by 50 feet. Made out of what? Plywood. For a shipping crate. Yeah. Well, you guys are serious. Yes. I thought I was no, 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 I'm serious. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Unbelievable. So you knew it would work, too? Who? Not yeah. me. No, the buddy, his buddy called Marty. Oh, oh, oh. Called Marty and said, can you make me a shipping box? And Marty, and Marty said, well, I'm a bit busy here now. But he said, I'll, I'll make one up, you know, in a couple of weeks. He said, well, that's no problem. He said, I'm, I'm moving up to Alberta, he said. Mm -hmm. And he said, I want to ship stuff up, you know? So he said, well, what size do you want? He said, one inch by 50 feet. Weird, eh? Mm -hmm. Do you know what he's shipping? A clothesline. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew, I knew. You know, I just wait for it, right? Yeah, I was waiting for yeah. it. I was trying to think of ski. No, ski is for hiring too. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, Why wasn't thinking fast enough? Where is he going with this? But he would have done a clothesline. clothesline. <laughs> yeah, I suppose uh, we're going to jokes. Yeah. 
No, I can tell you that joke backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could, couldn't you? Well, the first thing, in, okay, that's not going to be expensive made out of aluminum. That's what I said. <laughs> 50 foot, I wouldn't want to get a shipping quote when they want to use that. Yeah, 50 feet. Yeah, that's tractor trailer stuff. Some fishing rods or something. <laughs> yeah, tractor trailer. Yeah. Okay. What did you say, 50 feet? 50 feet. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking 50 inches. 50 feet. Feet. He's shipping the clothesline. See, had I heard the feet, I would have walked in so blind. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 50 There you go. Too late. You're into it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Marty, Marty called me. He's getting, they're going to repair the car properly. They're not cheap cars. No. no. Beautiful. No. I'm telling you, it's not a 300. I'm telling you, Ron. The book said 300. It's a charger. Charger, you're right, it is too. Yeah. He was going to get it. Yeah, he was going to get the 300. That fell through. Yeah, did that ever fall through? Yeah, that's another story. Anyway, I gotta go to work. Yeah. So, well, anyway, uh, want me to put in your cold, are you? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, he's dying inside. <laughs> he's shivering. And if I don't close the door and turn on the heat, I won't see him for three, three weeks. And he'd be texting at three in the morning saying, I don't know what's wrong with me, dude. I got the quilt up over my head and can't I'm going to freeze warm. to death. Can't, can't <laughs> get warm. Huh? The heat's on in the truck. It's pretty, yeah. It is pretty damn warm. It is that bad. There's no doubt about it, son. Well, you're a good one to talk. When you came in lunchtime and I never had the heat on and you complained it was cold. Yeah, but we had guests, you know. When they don't want to take off their coat, Kathy, was a pretty good sign they finally cold. There's no way. Really? I mean, you, you, put on, you put on homemade soup and that frosted over. Well, no, that's it. It frosted over. That's a bit that dramatic. <laughs> you know, you know, and they didn't want to take off their boots and stuff. And they asked, the missus asked Kathy if she had a pair of mucklucks. Does anybody open up and go? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it might be a little exaggeration. Well, this one is. It is. No. It is. It's not all of that. It is. It's no. all of it. No. You're not guests coming. You won't even turn on the heat. Folks, now you know what i got to live with. It wasn't cold. She's as cold as a mother in laws kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. That's pretty cold. I thought you were going back to work. <laughs> Folks, I made a mistake. I gotta tell you about it. Really? When I took all this out of the bag, that O-ring was down there like that. So I figured it went like that and went up here, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the right way it goes. The right way for it to go is it goes here like that. And then it goes like that because the other way I had it was leaking around the threads. Oh. So, so put your O-ring on top like that, and leave the one off there. Screw it up. Oh. Yeah, screw it up. Not like I did. <laughs> screw it up. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> wow. What do you think? Cool. You you go to Island Cove now, and that's all you'll see is these tractors lined up, and he'll be fuel filter <laughs> specialist. <laughs> that's right. It's going to be a fuel filter oh, yeah. specialist. Yeah, can you put your retire? No, I, I specialize in fuel filters only. Uh, that's do, what he'll say. I only do fuel filters. Yeah. Fuel filters, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Run home and steal Paul's idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm out here, folks. You got it? Yes. Okay, buddy. Thanks for dropping by. All right, take care. Thank yeah, you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah. 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 You might want to get it over here so you can see the filter. So folks, after you put the filter bowl back on, you just see it's filling up with fuel. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'd like to get a full size one here, you know, and, and go and do the complete, complete service rate. Because I'm kind of doing repairs as I'm going too. Yeah, that's right. I'd like to see some fuel coming out now through that nut there, if I could. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see it there yeah, now. Me too. Oh yeah, lots of coming yeah, out. Yeah. So it's good, lots it's working. Of, yeah, that's working. So now I got to dry it all off and recheck it for leaks. Mm -hmm. So my my choice of clean my choice of cleaner for that is going to use a bit of brake cleaner. Mm -hmm.
and uh, and then I'm gonna get my ear gun. Mm -hmm. and blow it off. And hopefully, the leaking has stopped. No more drips. different than, than the Kubotas. But it is fixed. Yeah. No more leaks. So it's just a matter of paying a little more attention than I was paying. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens. Oh yeah. As long as you can fix the problem and admit to the problem, you resolve the problem. That's right. That's where it all starts. Move on to the oil change. That felt, fan belt fall out. Just look down. Good test for you folks. Take your fan, you can move it like that, and the pulley not and the belt not move. Your fan is not being very effective. So I guess we're gonna have to be tightening that up shortly. Okay folks, there's a drain plug here for your engine oil. There's only one drain plug. Sometimes in the Kubotas, the front drive shaft goes up through the uh, base pan, so It'll have two drain plugs, one on each side, but in this case the dry shaft stays down well below the, the engine oil pan, so you can just basically use the one drain plug because that's all it has. And the oil filter is right in here. I don't know if you can see that, Kathy, can you? Right there. You see it? Yeah. You guys see it at home? Do you? Huh? <laughs> you're not talking to me today. No, you're not talking to me today. No, I don't much blame to tell you the truth. No, you're, not, you're not in a talking mood. I'll tell you, there's grease nipples on this that never saw any grease before. No. No. No, it's pretty good grease in front that's coming from somewhere. Yes, the grease the ones they can see. Yeah, that's true. It's the ones you don't see that's causing the trouble. Mm -hmm. Just like in regular uh, vehicles. Huh? Yes, yeah. So I gotta go get another weapon, because you know, Hercules put them on. Another little thing, folks. Whenever you go to a dealership and you buy a filter, always pull the filter out of the box and physically check around here, because I don't know how many times we've pulled filters out of the boxes when they've been delivered to us by a courier and found, like some of the, some of the uh, Kubota ones has a magnet here, and we've found the magnets crack, we found the, you know, damage, so, if you're going to the dealer yourself, physically remove them from the box and look, because some of the parts guys, they drop them on the floor and just pick them up and put them back on the shelf, not realizing they just destroyed the filter. So a little tech tip for you. Oh my gosh. Okay, folks. There's a rubber O-ring on all of these filters. Make sure that that rubber O-ring is on that filter when you remove it. If it's not, it's stuck onto the block. And if you don't notice it and you screw on the new filter with the new O-ring, you got a double O-ring. And when you start your engine, it's going to blow out one seal and you're going to lose your motor oil. You're going to lose your oil pressure and you could lose your engine. So it's, it's imperative that you remove that O-ring off the engine before you uh, put the new one on. So another tech tip for you. Holy smoke, that got bad breath. You got that right. Started that off, holy smoke. And it was holy smoke. It was. Come over here, now. I don't know it was holy, but it was smoke. This this pulley, this belt has probably seen the best part of its life already. But anyway, we're going to leave it on there because there's still some adjustment. Mm -hmm. But basically what happens, when you see the belt that far down on the pulley, mm -hmm. that means it could bottom out on the pulley and still slip. But I'm going to tighten it up, and if I think that it's a possibility that it's going to slip, I'm just going to turn around and replace it. But what you do is you loosen up this bolt here, which is a, oh, hang on now, folks. A 12, excuse me, 12 millimeter. 14 millimeter down here on the bottom. Here, camera lady, this is the bottom. Just in case you didn't know where the I bottom think we were oh, I don't think you knew. Well, you know, I didn't think you knew where the bottom was. I'm just pointing it out. I'm being politely polite here. Oh, yeah. You can tell, can't you? Trying me? something new, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, so you loosen up this one, and then you basically come over and you. 
Uh -huh. You push it up like that, mm -hmm. and you tighten up the top one. You think you got your busy there with your hands in your pocket and holding the camera. Mm -hmm. Should try what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, and then you tighten this one up, and then you tighten the other one up. Like that. Mm -hmm. Then I'll tighten up the bottom one. Mm -hmm. Which is a grunt and a half mm -hmm. on these Kyotos. <laughs> Stop saying that. Okay, it's a coyote. I even had to hide hide the, the two killers. There we go. Yep. Yeah. So they don't know he's here. Oh yeah, they'd be some upset if they knew this was in the driveway. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't dramatize. Oh yeah. They'd have to see counseling there. Well, we don't want that. That's money. Therapy. What did you do with my Milwaukee light? Mm -hmm. Find it? Uh, it's over there. Yeah, we had to turn on the above fan. Yeah, to get out some of the smoke. Yeah. I think it just probably broke wind. Yeah? Yeah, geez, no normal tractor would have made that much of a smell. <laughs> so, you can come over here and now look in through that side. And we're going to do the fan test again. Okay. So remember before when I turned the fan, nothing else moved, right? That's correct. So now, it's all turning, well, uh -huh. right. which means it's, success. it's successful. Yeah. yeah, so, and the oil's changed. Now, you want to come over here. We release these sides. There's a couple of pins. There's a dowel pin here. Yeah, now there's another dowel pin. Back there, jumps. I'm gonna do this. So, man, I don't know. You gotta be kind of, some kind of freak to work on it. There you go. There you go. So that's how it goes in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, while you're into rooting around, have a look and see if all the blades are still on your fan, and you know, see if the wiring is tucked away. I, I found some wiring just out of their little holder, so I. I did that. One thing I did find weird about it, I never had a prop rod. No. So I had to use this, what they call the club. This is mm -hmm. a telescopic thing to hold hoods up when their gas shocks don't hold them up. So that came in handy for this. I guess at one point, and that could be there in front of me and I not see it, but at one point it must have had it right here, look. Oh yeah, I've got space. Right? Yeah. So, but by God, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not there now. Well, it's not there. It's just not there. Let's have a look at the filter. Well, one clip wasn't even holding the filter on, huh? No. He's perfect, huh? Yeah. He's going back in, folks. No need to waste the customer's money. This was pointed out like that. It's not supposed to be pointed out like that. There's a reason why they put the word top up there. Yeah. And the word top goes like that. And you see why the bottom one wasn't hooked on? Okay. Well, it was a clip. But you need to be. Uh, too tough. There you go. That's on there now. See? And this is for the drain. Actually, that's still not. Oh, there you go. That's why. Yeah, okay. You're happy with that? I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm not, not like elated or anything. You don't need to be. But, you know, like, um, you know, it's not like I won the lottery or anything, but still, it's not a bad accomplishment no. all the same. You know? No. You know, I'm, I'm getting her done. You are. So, we're going to put this down now. And we're going to put away my club mm -hmm. and hide it from your wife. That way, if she gets peeved off at you, she won't know where to get it to use it as a weapon. You're shining the flashlight in our eyes. And that's basically the club. Yeah. It's a Mac Tools club. The number is HH200. And it's called HH because hell, hell, the hood just came down across my head. <laughs> 200 times, so it's time to buy a club. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh, it's so hard to get them. Anyway, there's a drain on 
the very bottom of the wheel hub down here in the back. Mm -hmm. Just a little 12 millimeter bolt. Same thing on the other side. You drain them out and then you start filling it up. It takes about three quarters of a gallon. Well, I'm going to tell you, I don't think I took a cup full of it. No. There's a window here. You might want to get over on this side, Kathy. There's a window there, and there was nothing showing in the window when I started, so. Oh, I see it now. It's yeah. clear. Yeah, so it's, yeah, I got it all out. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up until I see it coming out of that window. And uh, we'll see what happens. That's going to be a 15, 16 plug there. Now you'll see, I got it filled up to the top of the hood of the uh, window. The reason why I do that is because it's going to take it a little while for some oil to get out into the planetary gear here. Not a planetary gear, but the the, the uh, side axle gears here and uh, that'll drop down a little bit. A lot of times when you buy tractors new you'll check your front differential and you'll find that there's not enough oil in them because at the factory they don't give them enough time to seep out here. So I'll always check them and of course the dealerships I guess don't check them either because how many times every time we have a tractor come out mm -hmm. they've been low in the front differential fluid. Yeah. You know, we had them come out one time sharing the rear uh, auxiliaries didn't work. Snowblower no, wouldn't shoot, wouldn't turn. Yeah. Wasn't even adjusted at the factory or the and the dealership didn't pick up on it. No. So, you know, folks, just because you're picking it up at the dealership, it don't always mean that the work is always being done. So, you know, you got to take a certain amount of responsibility yourself. When I worked as a heavy equipment operator, we used to have to stop three times a day and check all our fluids and do three walk arounds to, of the machine. Yeah just to make sure to ensure everything was safe and operating has has designed. So the only thing I got left here now is just to uh, do a little bit of grease. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned the drain plug for the rear differential, the big one. That's going to be a 30 millimeter. So uh, and if you don't have a 30 millimeter you can you can pretty well use an adjustable wrench. That one I could probably took it out with my hand. It was it was only in hand tight so I don't know. It's uh, it is what it is, but I took I drained off about a half a liter of uh, differential fluid, and I put in just about three. Wow, difference. So. This is one of those tractors that's put in four-wheel drive and never taken out. People don't realize how hard that is on the front differential. I couldn't even move this ten minutes ago. No. Eh? No, it was pretty tight. Well, I really thought I was going to crack off the linkage. So, what, is I, what I did, follow the linkage from there till it goes into the transmission and totally bury it in WD-40. There's nothing there you can heat up. You just got to take your chances and pray you don't crack something off inside the case. So anyway, now it's, now it's done. Of course, while I was out testing it, over here, Kathy, one of the plastic elbows on the heater started to leak. Little pinhole in it. So now tomorrow I got to see if we can get an elbow and put on that. <laughs> But we're gaining on it, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a tractor that hasn't had very much in TLC. No. So, but now you can use this like, you know, like you should be able to use it. Yeah. And it does have more power now. It'll come up on, it'll come up the hill now in high range. Whereas earlier today it would not. Wow. So. You're making progress. It's, yeah, making progress, so. Yeah. But you know, oh, holy smokes. It's not your regular service when you've got to repair things repair too. Repair things. Yeah. Uh, anyway, folks, we'll call out a video. I yeah, don't know what we do doing videos about. Yeah. Huh? yeah, that'll have to do for today. Yeah, well, that's it. I'm just going to replace that elbow and then it's done. 
the uh, filter is back and that uh, the main filter and its shut off is back there and it's working good now there's no leaks nope. and uh, it is what it is well, it's serviced now it's got oil in the front differential now which it never had before yep it's got the fan belt done it's got I got a lot of other little tweaks done that we didn't grab the camera because you had company in that so and uh, yeah so we'll he wanted this for Monday or Tuesday? Yeah. So this is... Put the push on. So this is, uh, well, it'll we'll be tomorrow, it tomorrow before it's completely done. Yeah. I got a few other little things to do, but that's that's the gist of it. That's yeah, that's most tough. of it. Yeah. And I'm soaking wet. Yeah, it's pretty wet. Probably because probably. all the water's coming in. I like to have the door open. I'm going to have a, a four or five months and I'm going to be able to open the door with snow. Yeah. So. So for the guys that wanted to see a service done on a coyote, now, not exactly the way I like to do the service. I like to systematically start from the front, work back, but I've had so many repairs in between, I really couldn't concentrate just on the service, so it, it might be a little bit of a confusing service, but, you know, if you learn something, that's great. That's what the video is all about. Even if you weren't learn one little thing, that's what the video is all about. So folks, thanks uh, for watching. You guys take care. Appreciate your comments. Have a good evening. God bless.